Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about the system configurator in Olympia. So, what is the system configurator? The system configurator is a window in the system client which you can use to store values for different keys which you then can use in the code to um, yeah, do certain things. In a default installation there are a lot of uh, keys and values already in there and um, they all have a certain purpose. For example, the keys for the dictionary ID are used if you want to create a feature for the core and you are a registered um, item Pierre developer, then you can use these keys um, to maintain IDs from a centralized place and this will make sure that uh, the changes you do to the core get unique IDs which are not used in any other uh, feature. There are also a lot of um, other keys to configure the application. For example, yeah, if you are allowed to use the remember me checkbox in the swing client, which is this one, um, you have the refresh interval of the dashboard, which um, yeah, this is the dashboard, and it is refreshed every 60 seconds. So the activities dashboard panel here uses this functionality and yeah it does a refresh every 60 seconds um, which is this key right here and you can set it to another value if you want. Yeah here you have uh, some security settings like if the passwords should be hashed in the database and not stored in clear text. You have um, the ability to use the email address for login and um, yeah, this key, for example, is used to um, define which theme you want to use. <coughs> this um, key right here is uh, not in the default installation, as you can tell by its entity type, which is user maintained. But I know about this key and I created it by myself. And what this key does is um, that the browser title, which is up here, is set to the value. Um, currently I'm using my own theme in which I overwrite this key in my code and therefore um, right here it's uh, now Salina instead of uh, test system. But if I change the theme back to default then the browser title would be um, yeah, test system. So to create your own keys, just uh, create a new entry, give it a name. You can provide a description. And the value you want to configure. Yeah, save it. And then when you want to use this um, key in code, you use the um, sysconfig class. And then sysconfig class has a method called getValue. And here you can read out these values. And what you normally do is you copy the key you created and provide it to the um, get value method. And then you can uh, also provide a default value which will be returned if nothing is found. Oh, yes, this returns a string, of course. Yeah, and what this call does is it re will return me a value because the default value will only be returned if um, the key is not found in the system configurator. Yeah, and that is how you use the system configurator and item here. I hope this video helped you and I see you in the next video.